Hey man, you know who it is, man. LBR Desmond, look man for me back here with another video for me. New subscribe on footage for me, old subscribe on footage for me. Like the video for me, watch it all the way through. You go on lane for me, that's a fact the whole time. But look man, today we're gonna talk about, you know what I'm saying? Why you cannot be emotional as a man, bro. You can't be emotional, bro. You gotta understand this, my males. Understand this, bro. Females don't like a dude who's over emotional the whole time. Get in touch with your emotions the whole time. But look, before I get to the video, you already know about this here, right? Like the video, like the video, that's a fact for me. Subscribe now if you ain't subscribed yet, man. Turn over your bell to get updated when I upload a new video. That's a fact, you know what I'm saying? So look, man, leave that like. That's a fact, you know what I'm saying? Leave that like, man. Come on, man. Big LBR, pretty unsexy ladies. Y'all know what's going on you for me, gangs. I know y'all want to be around me all day, 24-7. But listen, I got to grind for my LBR game, but that's a fact all the time. So leave that comment, that context down below. You thought about the video and do the biggest thing out of all those, bro. Subscribe, man. Join the LBR gang. Why? Well, Cause it's the gang, but that's a fact all the time. But look, let's get into the video. That's a fact. When I start to rip, y'all already know about you. My males, my females. Look, the LBR gang. Y'all listen. Bro, you can't be emotional as a man, bro. Understand this. Everybody feels emotions. Yes, bro. You're going to feel emotions, my man. Understand this. Yeah, you're going to feel anger. You're going to feel sadness. You're going to feel happiness. You're going to feel tiredness. You're going to feel drowsy. You're going to feel anxiety. You're going to feel depressed sometimes. Understand this. These are all different emotions that come throughout you, you know what I'm saying, that you go and experience throughout life, right? But you got to understand, my males, you cannot be emotional. You have to be stoic. You have to literally, bro, look in the eye of the tiger, bro. Yeah, bro. You got to look in the face of death and start laughing like, bro, I ain't even scared of this no more whole time gangster. You know why? Because that's what your role is as a man, bro. You cannot be out here weak, bro, whole time. Get your weakling head ass on. You feel me, bro? You can't be out here weak, bro. You can't be out here letting people just mess with you and throw you around all freaking day, letting people bully you and think that, oh, yeah, man, well, it is what it is. No, bro, you have to create your own reality, bro. You have to realize that you as a man, bro, you have to be the leader in the situation, bro. How would it look, bro, if your female, you know what I'm saying, somebody breaking into your house and you went here crying, scared in the corner, oh, baby, I don't know what's happening. Please save me. Man, get your Superman head ass on. You better save her, bro, whole time, because she going to look for you to save her, bro. This is the whole point of you being a man, bro. But this is what society tries to, you know what I'm saying, deter, deter our brain to make us believe that, oh, well, you're not supposed to be a man. You're not supposed to not have emotions, and you're not supposed to be out here, you know what I'm saying, being a leader. You should be submissive to your female and this, that, and the third, bro. I'm not saying about none of that, because they be trying to contort your brain and make you believe a bunch of BS, but we ain't into none of that gangsta the whole time. I'm trying to tell y'all the straight facts the whole time because why I'm big up with y'all. So listen, bro, you have to learn that, bro. You cannot be over-emotional. You have to learn how to control your emotions. If you don't control your emotions, bro, they're going to overflow you the whole time. The gangsta, bro, like Niagara Falls or something. Yeah, they're going to keep flowing, bro. I'm trying to understand. Get your flow rider head ass on. You feel me? They're going to keep flowing, bro. So you got to understand this, bro. So this is why... As a young man coming up in the game, even if you're older, bro, you need to learn how to control yourself, bro. Control is the ultimate power over everything. If you can control something, you have the ultimate superpower, bro. But a lot of grown men out here, bro, they can't control their emotions, bro. This is why they'll be in the streets and something happen to them all the time, and they just lash out. They just bug out, oh, yeah, I got to go rob this dude. I got to go do this. I got to go do that. But I was sitting back and analyzing the situation and realizing that, bro, you don't have to react off emotions because most emotions are just reactions, bro. Because you got to understand this, bro. All emotions are and feelings are. Emotion is emotion. What is motion? Something moving. Energy in motion, bro. So you got to let these feelings come through your body and literally, bro, realize that is what's happening to you. Realizing that you feel a little bit sad. Realizing that, okay, man, this situation is messed up. I'm down bad. I'm not in the best position I want to be in. But understand that, you know what? Eventually, bro, it's going to get better. Understand that, you know what? These emotions that I feel can't mess with my mental fortitude. They can't mess with my brain capacity of me believing how great and powerful I am. This society or people or females, whoever around me trying to control my brain to make me believe that oh, I'm supposed to be crying about my situation. Oh, I'm supposed to be feeling bad because I don't have a lot of money. I don't have this. No. You know that deep down in your soul, deep down in your essence, my males, that shine need to literally, bro, get on your t certain type of timing and get to your grind, bro. Get to your success, bro. Stop waiting around. Get your PBTA bus head ass on. Get your bus stop head ass back. You from, you always waiting around, bro. You like Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall or something, bro. You wanted to sit on the wall all day? No, bro. You want to get up, get out, and get some money, bro. So you got to realize this, bro. Because at the end of the day, you being over-emotional as a man that's going to run away 
free a lot of females because there's now if she can mess with your emotions bro she has more more power over you bro she has more control over you and this is what females do this is how they use the wop bro they literally control us bro whole time gangster bro they be like oh well you know i'll be all you're not getting a wop this week and now look now i'm gonna be upset in a while because look now she's controlling me bro because why she controls my sexual emotions my sexual energy this is what they try to do to you bro this is what i'm telling you this is how the job gets you this is how school gets you oh you get a bad grade now you feel bad about yourself guess what they're doing to you controlling your emotions you lose your job you get a smaller paycheck now you feel bad about your finances guess what now you feel bad about yourself that's what they're doing controlling your emotions so this is what society does as a whole bro they want to control your emotions every single day so this is why my mother you have to learn how to control your emotions bro that's the true power of a man. That's the true essence of a man is learning how to face fears, face all these different things, and literally, bro, control his emotions and act and act and react the way you're supposed to, bro. Not sit there and react and be, oh man, bro, he slapped my goddamn car. I gotta rob his ass. Not like, oh bro, shut show the dumbass. Like people be just saying with stupidness, bro. They be doing everything, reacting off emotions, not realizing that, bro, these emotions are gonna come and go. You have to sit back, take a step back. No James Harden, like, yo, bro, take a step back. What am I, mother? No Paul Pierce, and really start to analyze the situation, bro. Because by you making that false move, a lot of things that you do in anger, you can't take back, bro. Now if you go there and murk somebody right in the streets because he did this or he did that or whatever like that you can't take it back now bro it's done it's written in the dirt bro whole time gangster whole time get your sandcastle head ass on get your muddy muddy head ass back yeah it's written in the dirt now bro gangster bro so you got to put this in your brain my mother's my females y'all got to stop saying it, bro you know what i'm saying and not thinking about what you do before you act, bro. This is what you're supposed to say. That's why they say, think before you speak. Yes, think before you speak. Think before you act, bro. Because once you act, I'm telling you, bro, a lot of these emotions that you are feeling at the time are going to disappear. They're going to disperse. And now you're going to be like, damn, bro. Now I'm down bad. Now I'm in jail. And I'm locked up. They won't let me out. No, they won't. I'm talking about, bro, you went Rikers Island. They not letting you out. And it's over with, bro. Now you got 30 years to life, money. You feel me the whole time? Gangster, bro. Get your OJ Simpson head ass back. Yeah, bro. Now you in there forever, Pablo Escobar. Because you wanted to believe that selling this little, you know what I'm saying, this little brick or something the whole time was going to save your life. Oh, yeah, well, he stole from me. Well, I got to steal from him. Nah, bro. I, mean, I understand, you know what I'm saying? Karma is real, but bro, you're not supposed to keep doing the same thing somebody else did to you, bro. You got to look at the situation, analyze the situation, and look at the best move to what you could do in this situation, bro. But a lot of us, you know what I'm saying, we let our emotions control us, man. We let the depression make us all oh, feel down. We let the anxiety make us feel like, oh, well, we can't talk to this girl because maybe she might think I'm ugly or maybe she might reject me. But it's like, bro, at the end of the day, if you go through that anxiety, you go through those feelings, bro, those feelings are still going to come. But you realize that, yo, they don't control me. Because no, why you went and you talked to that girl. You went and applied for that job. You went and go talk to that car dealership about getting a new car. You went and go apply for that house mortgage loan from, you know what I'm saying, Bank of America. But you was nervous. You didn't know all the ins and outs of the whole situation or the application, this, that, and the third, or whatever like that. But you still did it, bro. And that just lets you know that you have the power over yourself. You can't let these emotions and different things come and try to control your life, bro. Because they will, bro. Bro, if you let them have control, they will. This is why I always tell you the power of belief is the strongest thing in this life, bro. Whatever you believe in, that's what literally will create your reality, and that's what literally will transpire in your life. So if you believe you're great, you're powerful. If you believe that you're going to have a lot of money, if you believe you're going to have a nice life, if you believe that your family and everybody care about you and all these different things like that, right, whole time, you believe in God and stuff like this, you tap the spirit, you do what you need to do for yourself, bro, your life is going to go in the right path. But if you believe in depression, you believe in anxiety, you believe in negativity, you believe Leaving the things that, you know what I'm saying, taking, uh, you know what I'm saying, remove power from yourself, guess what? Now your life is down bad. You living like, you know what I'm saying, Oscar the girls from Sesame Street, bro. That's what's good. Life gonna be like, you feel me, old time, bro? And I'm not, that's not, I, listen. I ain't trying to live like that. <laughs> Gigs the whole time. So look, man, this is the things I need to do, man. Bro, stop being emotional, man. Get your crybaby head ass on. Yeah, you in there crying. You need a bib and a blankie, bro, whole time because you in there being emotional as hell. Understand that, bro. Be a man. Suck it up whole time. Wild pause. <laughs> Get on your stuff, gang. You know what I'm saying? Get to grinding. Get to shining. And look, man, do all these things, man. You're going to be good. You're going to be sanctioned, man. You need to wire some hoop. Big up, y'all. But look, man, I'm saying, like the video, like the video. That's a fact. Me subscribing out for Instagram, man. Turn off your bell to get updated and upload a new video. That's a fact. I'm saying, follow me on Instagram at LBRA Dez, LBRA DZ. Follow my other Instagram at LBRA Dez. YouTube, me both from the description box and the comments down below. I need the video. That's a fact. I'm saying. 
hit me up on there if you know vice me video ideas in my damn in the comment section below underneath the video so fact you know what I'm saying follow me that TikTok minutes down there to us so fact you know what I'm saying follow me that TikTok minutes down there to us so fact you know what I'm saying which we're the way through I mess with master fast we join the LVR gang why cause it's the gang with but look man I'm making a very good doing that but until then man y'all already know what to say right Listen, man, you cannot be emotional and think that you still gonna get WAP. It's not, bro, they don't, they not in the same paradigm, bro. You feel me, gangster, bro? Being LBR, you basically get WAP every single day, you know what I'm saying? 24 7, 365, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 52 weeks in a year, you know what I'm saying? You stop playing all the time, we'll get you some wild game. But look, man, I'm out of there, home, bro.